So what actually is a tide? Well, tides are actually caused by the pull of the moon's gravity against our hydrosphere, which for purposes today, we're basically gonna say is the oceans, because that's 97% of the Earth's water anyway. So if you look behind me, welcome to the Atlantic Ocean, or very little of it, because right now we're at low tide. Low tide is the part where you don't have a bulge. So you can think about there being a bulge on the side where the moon is, and then you get a second bulge on the opposite side. It's called the inertial bulge. It's kind of a sympathetic reaction. And the 90 degrees away from each bulge, that's where you're gonna have your low tides. There are two tidal bulges 108 degrees away from each other. There's the gravitational bulge on the side of the moon, and then the inertial bulge on the opposite side. Now Earth rotates underneath its own hydrosphere in and out of low and high tide. Hmm, this might be easier if you actually saw a person. So let's stick me in there quickly. Ah, much better. Okay, so I'm going to rotate into high tide, low tide, then high tide, and then low tide again. Two full tidal cycles in a 24 hour period. Well, behind me is North Twin Island, except that it doesn't look like much of an island right now because, well, you can walk to it. That's because this is an extremely low tide. This is during the spring tides when the tides are lowest and the tides are highest at high tide. In fact, it's so low that I'm just going to walk out there. We're walking, we're walking. Love a little pool of uh, seaweed soup. You are going to be here when I get back, right? Just checking. Almost there. It's very cool rocks here. You should come look at them. And as you can see, I've made it to lovely North Twin Island at Orchard Beach, which, looking at the low tide, you wouldn't realize is actually, well, an island. Anyway, we got about, oh, six hours to high tide, so uh, find a nice rock to wait on. If it was a simple 12 hours between high tide and high tide, that would be easy. However, the moon is also revolving in its orbit around the Earth. It moves at a rate of about 50 minutes a day. This means that the actual time from high tide to high tide, or a full tidal cycle, is 12 hours and 25 minutes, and that happens twice a day. All right, John, it's been two hours. Are you back yet with a sandwich? Hello? Anybody? <sighs> Just me and my rock. Well, the tide's gotten high enough now that if I tried to walk back, I'd probably get my feet fairly wet. So at least something's going on. Tide heights aren't always the same, and to demonstrate why, we have to add the sun to this picture. When the sun, the earth, and the moon line up, the sun's gravity helps the moons, making the tides more extreme, so high tides are higher and low tides are lower, and we call these spring tides. This happens during the full moon phase or the new moon phase. But when the moon is at its quarter phases, the sun's gravity actually works against the moons, making the bulges smaller and the tides more moderate, and we call these neap tides. We're at North Twin during a spring tide, which means it's the greatest difference in tides. So here's how it looks during low tide, and now at high tide, six hours later, which means I can finally get off this rock. Okay, and it is high tide. And as you can see, the tide has risen to the point where there is absolutely no way I can get off this island. 
which means I am stuck here until the tide goes out. Unless, John, you want to give me a hand here? John? What are you doing? Wait, where? you're not going to leave me here. Where do you think, you know, I've got the car keys. Do me a favor and get out a dry pair of socks for me. <laughs>